Friday the 13th unleashes a stream of movies and TV to scare up Halloween screams. Like those people who put up decorations around Labor Day, TV and movies don't always wait until October to begin dropping horror-themed projects to capitalize on Halloween. But the annual crush of such fair has an auspicious kickoff date with Friday the 13th falling this month with the modern edition of Hallow Streams to help promote Hallow Screams. The last week brought a trio of new horror movies, the low-budget When Evil Lurks, and two more based on familiar titles in The Exorcist, Believer, and Pet Cemetery Bloodlines. But that's just an appetizer for what's to come. Beyond dedicated channels like Shudder and theme months on various networks, movie channels like TCM and AMC have kicked into Halloween mode. So there's no shortage of older offerings to go with the newly dead ones. In terms of fresh arrivals, here's a by no means comprehensive breakdown of options including movies, series, and documentaries scheduled to start haunting screens between now and that first knock from trick-or-treaters in order of availability. The Fall of the House of Usher, Netflix, October 12th. Writer-producer Mike Flanagan is back with a new Netflix limited series, this time a macabre contemporary tale inspired by the works of Edgar Allan Poe. Goosebumps, Disney Plus and Hulu, October 13th. A fresh take on R.L. Stein's much-adapted book series of spooky stories for kids follows a group of teenagers as they investigate a death from the past, one that might have involved their parents. John Carpenter's Suburban Screams, Peacock, October 13th. The horror director lends his name to an anthology docu-series that highlights creepy true stories using a mix of documentary elements and extensive reenactments. You will never look at your neighbors the same way again, Carpenter says in a voiceover introduction. The Bell Keeper. Theaters and On Demand, October 13th. Stop if you heard this one. A group of friends who are dumb in the way people in these movies have to be travel to a remote spot to shoot a documentary that seeks to debunk urban legends by ringing a bell that the legend says summons a psychotic killer. Oh, yeah. The Devil on Trial, Netflix, October 17th. A Netflix documentary that goes back to what became known as the Devil Made Me Do It case. And a 1981 murder that saw the defendant claim he was possessed by the devil when the killing happened. As a bonus, the story involves Ed and Lorraine Warren, the demon hunting couple associated with the Amityville Horror and most recently the Conjuring series. Living for the Dead, Hulu, October 18th. The Ghost Hunter reality show format gets a new wrinkle in this series produced by the creators of Queer Eye and Kristen Stewart, which features a quintet of queer ghost hunters traveling around the U.S., starting with an investigation, honest, it says that in the press release, of a haunted clown Motel. Fear the Walking Dead, AMC, October 22nd. There's nothing harder to kill than a TV show with The Walking Dead in the title. But after eight seasons, the show's first spinoff kicks off its final six-episode run a week after The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, concludes. American Horror Stories, Hulu, October 26th. Producer Ryan Murphy is back with the latest Halloween edition of his horror anthology series, while the flagship 12th edition of American Horror Story, Delicate, continues on FX. Five Nights at Freddy's. Theaters and Peacock, October 27th. 
Josh Hutcherson stars as a security guard working the late shift at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria in this movie adaptation of the video game, which becomes the latest horror flick to simultaneously hit theaters and streaming. The Enfield Poltergeist. Apple TV Plus, October 27th. Like The Devil on Trial, this Apple docuseries is a hybrid using actual audio tapes and interviews, lip synced by actors, along with reenactments and old clips to tell the story of a famous poltergeist case that unfolded in England in the late 1970s. So, bon appetit to your Halloween viewing pleasure.